Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my SmackDown review. And also, I'm going to talk about the uh, the Mixed Match Challenge. Uh, also, uh, in this video, in this review, and of course, SmackDown uh, was uh, from Manchester in uh, the UK, and uh, of course, you know, same as you know, Raw last night, they were there. So, and this was, of course, you know, pre-taped. So, you know, there were some spoilers. Uh, that you know leaked out earlier uh, today, and uh, I gotta say, SmackDown was an enjoyable show tonight. Really enjoyed it. It was much better than the piece of shit Raw show that we got last night, which was absolutely fucking terrible. It was one of the most boring uh, Raws. I almost fell, I almost fell asleep to last night's uh, you know Raw. So. But, uh, you know, SmackDown, they did their build uh, towards Survivor Series, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. I like how the way, you know, SmackDown, you know, is doing it, you know, building uh, to Survivor Series. I think, you know, from tonight, they're doing a, uh, a much better job than, you know, what Raw is doing. So, uh, the show opened up uh, with Paige coming out, and she says, you know, it's so good to be home. And she then introduces Shay McMahon, uh, which, you know, got, you know, a ton of booze, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, him winning the, uh, the best in the world, uh, you know, thing at the, uh, the world, at the, uh, crown jewel. So, uh, Shane ended up coming out. Paige says for, Paige says to Shane, oh, why don't you get a picture with the other uh, trophy? Because they had the, uh. Of course, the uh, the World Cup uh, trophy uh, there, and uh, Shane says to Paige that with all the amazing talent they have in WWE, he doesn't think he is the best in the world, and that the uh, the trophy doesn't belong to him; it belongs to SmackDown. And uh, he goes on to say that you know we are two weeks away from Survivor Series. Where Raw and SmackDown go head to head, and they both announced, you know, the matches that you know were announced. You know, again, uh, Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles, uh, two, uh, Ronda Rousey versus Becky Lynch, uh, which that I'm looking forward to. Uh, also, again, Seth Rollins versus uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, and uh, AOP, uh, Authors of Pain versus uh, The Bar. Cesaro and Sheamus, which that's going to be a really uh, interesting uh, match to see. And, of course, you know, the five-on-five -five Survivor Series elimination match uh, for the men and the women. And uh, Shane uh, then announces who will be leading the men's uh, Survivor Series team for SmackDown. And, uh, you know, it is revealed... Uh, to be Daniel Bryan. So uh, Daniel Bryan ends up coming out. He thanks the crowd for you know cheering for him. He thanks uh, Shane for acknowledging that you know he is uh, not the best in the world. Daniel Bryan says you know that is an honor that both Paige and Shane uh, chose him uh, to lead uh, the the Survivor Series team for the men's for SmackDown. And uh, he then gets interrupted by The Miz. Uh, the Miz comes out and says to Shane that, you know, he is the best in the world. And he goes on to say that he's a little disappointed that Shane stepped in to win it for SmackDown. And so he goes on to say that, you know, two-thirds of that trophy is his. Uh, then he goes on to say, uh, you know, Shane goes on to say that, you know, well, not Shane, the Miz says, uh, you know, that, you know, they are co, you know, besties because of the, uh, you know, the World Cup trophy. And so Miz says to Shane, you know, never in his career had he been injured and that he couldn't compete, you know, which is true. You know, the Miz, you know, hasn't even been injured in his, uh, in his career. And he says if anyone deserves to be team captain of SmackDown, it should be him. And so Shane says, you know, based on 
the Miz's performance in the World Cup tournament, he ends up making uh, the Miz the team captain. And he also, also goes on to say that him and Daniel Bryan will be co-captains of the SmackDown uh, Men's Survivor Series uh, match. So this is going to be interesting between uh, you know the Miz and uh, Daniel Bryan. You know both of them have uh, you know bad blood, and uh, what I really liked is uh, you know how you know you know Shane ended up uh, cho ended up choosing uh, Daniel Bryan, and then you know he made uh, you know he ended up choosing the Miz so that they would be co-captains. You know it's better than what they did on Raw, where you know Baron Corbin just automatically makes himself. You know the uh, makes himself the team captain of Raw's uh, men's Survivor Series uh, match, and uh, of course you know Kurt Angle ended up losing last night in that embarrassing uh, finish to the match against Drew McIntyre, and you know just from that you know Baron Corbin you know is still going to be uh, the team captain for you know the Survivor Series you know for the men's Survivor Series you know match for Raw. So, but, but yeah, I liked how the way, you know, Shane ended up choosing both, you know, Daniel Bryan and The Miz and to make them be co-captains for uh, the SmackDown's uh, Survivor Se Men's uh, Survivor Series match. So, but it was a, it was a good opening to, uh, to SmackDown. So, then we had uh, The Miz, uh, End up ends up telling Shane, you know, you know what makes you know what makes him uh, be in you know co-captains, you know what makes him and Daniel Bryan, you know, be co-captains, you know, and will it work? And Shane says that you know both Miz and Daniel Bryan, they both bring out the best in each other, and that's what he's counting on. And he ends up telling uh, the both of them by the end of the night. To pick their three members. So, uh, you know, Miz uh, has, you know, the first choice. Miz has a pick and Shane. And, you know, Daniel Bryan, uh, for a weird reason, you know, agrees with Miz. You know, about Miz picking uh, Shane. You know, after what, you know, Shane did at, uh, at Crown Jewel, uh, which was total bullshit. So uh, Daniel Bryan then agrees, and you know it shows how much you know he says it you know it shows how much Shane cares about SmackDown, and so Shane then you know accepts it. So Shane's going to be in the SmackDown uh, Men's Survivor Series uh, match. Then we had uh, the Usos versus the New Day. Uh, to determine uh, the the, uh, the team captains for SmackDown's uh, tag team Survivor Series match, uh, which you know this this is gonna be which this is gonna be a mess. Uh, this uh, tag team uh, Survivor Series match, it, it's just gonna be a mess. It's it, when you come to think of it, it sounds stupid. So, but uh, this match it was a good match. It was a very enjoyable. Uh, match between uh, the Usos and the New Day, and of course for the New Day you had uh, Kofi Kingston and uh, Big E uh, take on Jimmy and Jay. And uh, you know the highlights of the match is you had Kofi uh, go up to uh, the top, and he ended up you know jumping from the top uh, to the outside onto uh, Jimmy and Jay, which uh, looked really uh, awesome. And uh, you also had Big E end up. Uh, Spear and Jay Uso into the uh, into the announce table, uh, which was cool. And at the end of the match, uh, Jimmy Uso ended up hitting the uh, the Uso splash on uh, Kofi uh, to score the win. And so the Usos are the team captains for uh, SmackDown's uh, tag team Survivor Series uh, match. So, but. Uh, then you had after the match, the Usos uh, say to, you know, say that, you know, to the to New Day that, you know, both of them, that both of them, 
Uh, they have been uh, to war and hell, you know, to hell and back, you know, plenty of times with them. And, you know, they say, you know, there are no SmackDown tag team. There's no SmackDown tag team division without them and the New Day. And so the Usos end up making uh, the New Day to be the first members of the SmackDown tag team Survivor Series match. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, this whole, like I said, this whole tag team, uh, you know, Survivor Series match, it's probably going to be a mess, uh, you know, because they did it, you know, in the past. So, yeah, all in all, it was an enjoyable match. It was a good match between uh, the Usos and the New Day. You know, one of their many, uh, one of the many uh, good matches. Then we had the Miz. Uh, he was shown uh, talking on the phone. You know, he was promoting uh, his uh, new uh, Marine film uh, that should be coming out. And he's like, "Oh yeah, uh, am I going to be on the talk show? Am I going to be on the talk shows like you know Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon or anything like that?" And he he goes, "Oh, all of them want Becky." <laughs> so. <laughs> And then you had uh, Dana Bryan uh, comes, and he tells Miz that he ended up picking Rey Mysterio to be on the SmackDown uh, Survivor Series team. And, you know, Miz doesn't like that because, you know, he says to Daniel that, you know, Mysterio hasn't done nothing uh, since coming back, uh, you know, when Mysterio made his return at SmackDown 1000. So Miz ends up saying to Daniel that, you know, if Rey Mysterio impresses him tonight, he, he'll he let Mysterio into the match at Survivor Series. Uh, you know, if Mysterio ends up, you know, winning the match against Andrade uh, tonight. So uh, that was that. Then you had Becky Lynch come out. Uh, which she got a, uh, a great ovation. Uh, she was replying uh, to uh, what Rhonda said to her last night on Raw. So she says, you know, she says to Rhonda that, you know, she is not a champion, that Rhonda is not a champion. And a champion reveals herself and that Rhonda hasn't been tested yet. And Becky says she is the man. And that is why she is the champion. And Rhonda is not. Becky says she has been ground down and, you know, she she got back up many times and that she also made history. She ends up saying last night on Raw, Rhonda mocked her on the road, uh, on the road, she, you know, she has taken. And that, you know, she goes on to say that she wasn't handpicked like Rhonda. And, of course, we had the crowd getting behind uh you know, Becky, and uh, Becky, you know, she said, you know, she wasn't meant to be, you know, the talk of the industry and in the main event, you know, which Becky was describing her, you know, about herself. And, you know, she says, you know, it's not, you know, it's not Rhonda, you know, it's not Rhonda's respect, you know, she's coming after at Survivor Series. At Survivor Series, she's coming after Rhonda's arm. And that at Survivor Series, she's going to make Ronda her bitch. <laughs> and I re really like that. Uh, you know, it was a great, great promo from Becky. So, and then we had Becky say, you know, she wants to fight right now. And she ends up telling someone in the back to come and step up and, you know, have a match. And so then we get Sanity. Coming out, Sandy hasn't been seen in months on SmackDown. You know they they probably you know were in catering. So Sandy, you know, it was good to see them back, and it was revealed that Nikki Cross, Nikki Cross makes her SmackDown main roster debut, uh, which I was happy to see. You know, I got a uh, you know I got spoiled with that you know earlier, 
But uh, I was really happy. Really happy to see Nikki Cross because, you know, I really like uh, Nikki Cross. I've been a fan of her, you know, you know, when she was in NXT. I really like, you know, how, you know, she's portrayed as, you know, like a crazy, uh, crazy girl, psycho very psychotic. And uh, she's very entertaining, uh, Nikki Cross. Just overall, very enjoyable, very enjoyable, you know, character. And uh, Becky tells Nikki why, you know, she think she why she thinks she can step up that Nikki could step up to her. And Nikki, you know, being all, you know, crazy and psychotic was like, you know, Becky, let's play. Let's play. <laughs> but uh, so that's how it was, you know, but it was a good uh, segment or good promo that uh, that Becky Lynch cut. It was very enjoyable. I said, keep on saying, I'm actually, you know, excited for to see Becky and uh, Rhonda at Survivor Series. So then we had the match, uh, Becky Lynch versus Nikki Cross, uh, which this was a decent match. This was, uh, to me, an enjoyable match uh, between the both of them. Nikki Cross, uh, impressive uh, in this match. Uh, but, you know, of course I knew... Uh, beforehand that Nikki Cross was going to lose the match. You know, putting put Nikki Cross up against Becky Lynch. That's kind of, you know, you know that's kind of them saying, oh, they're going to be burying, you know, Nikki Cross from there. You know, but uh, in the end, Becky Lynch ended up applying the, uh, dis the uh, disarmor to Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross ended up tapping out. So Becky Lynch wins. So, but... Who knows, this is probably going to be, you know, this is probably going to be, you know, Nikki Cross possibly, you know, being buried along with uh, Sanity, but, you know, who knows. But I can see it going that way. I can see WWE, you know, going that way, burying, possibly burying Nikki Cross. But, you know, it's only a first match on the main roster, so. So we'll see where this goes. But all in all, it was a decent match. It was an enjoyable match between uh, Becky and uh, Nikki. We had the Miz backstage. Uh, Daniel Bryan was telling, you know, him, you know, he made a choice for the final member of, you know, of the team. And, you know, Daniel's, you know, final uh, member that he chose was Jeff Hardy. And... Miz says, you know, he will that Jeff Hardy will be a great asset to the team. And he tells Daniel, uh, you know, will Jeff be better than his choice? And it was revealed that Miz's choice is Samoa Joe. So this is gonna be interesting. So this got interesting between uh, you know, whether it would be Jeff Hardy or Samoa Joe. You know, the uh, the final uh, choice for the SmackDowns uh for the SmackDown Survivor Series uh, uh, men's match. So we got that. And then we had Rey Mysterio versus Andrade San Amis. Uh, Andrade, you know, has been on TV uh, since maybe like a month or two months. Can't remember though, but, you know, it was good to see Andrade again. Uh, Zelina Vega didn't come out because apparently, uh, Read an article that you know she's injured. She got injured after uh, Evolution. So, but this match itself, it was an entertaining match uh, with Rey Mysterio and Andrade. Uh, both of these guys, you know, gave it all they all they had, and uh, Rey Mysterio ended up winning the match. Ended up pinning the uh, the six one nine to Andrade, and then the springboard splash. Uh, on Andrade to score the win. Then he had after the match, Randy Orton ends up coming out of nowhere, RKO and uh, Rey Mysterio. So, but all in all, it was a decent match uh, between Rey Mysterio and Andrade. And then uh, we had Daniel Bryan saying to Miz, you know, 
Oh, you send Randy Orton out there to RKO Rey Mysterio. And Miz was like to him, oh, did Rey lose? And, uh, you know, Miz says, uh, you know, Mysterio is on the team. And he tells Miz that, you know, Jeff is winning. Well, oh, no, I'm sorry. I got, Daniel Bryan says, you know, Mysterio is on the team. And he tells Miz that, you know, Jeff is winning. So, excuse me, correction on that. Sorry about that, but uh, then uh, after that, we had uh, AJ Styles uh, cut a promo saying, you uh, know, life as a WWE superstar is unpredictable. And he says, you know, his reign started in Manchester and his reward as WWE champion is going toe to toe for a second time against Brock Lesnar. And he ends up saying that last year he gave Lesnar all he had. You know, whether it was a phenomenal forearm, a Pele kick, you know, calf crusher. And he says, you know, it wasn't enough. And he says that Survivor Series, he will beat Lesnar. And that it won't be a prediction, but a spoiler. So, yeah, so we're going to get AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar, too. So, hopefully, uh, the match lives up as, you know, what, uh, you know, the match was last year at last year's Survivor Series. So we'll just have to wait and see. Then we had Paige uh, was out there, uh, was out in the ring. Uh, she announced, she starts announcing uh, the women's uh, Survivor Series. Uh, the women who are going to be in uh, SmackDown's, uh, you know, Survivor Series match for the women. And she announces uh, the woman. Uh, to be in it. She announces that, you know, Carmella is going to be in it. Naomi, Sonya Deville, Asuka, and Charlotte. So, uh, you know, the woman, uh, you know, Carmella, Naomi, Sonya, and Asuka all came out. And Charlotte's music hits, and, you know, Charlotte didn't come out. So, because, you know, we all know if you know, Charlotte's going to agree to, you know, be in the, uh, the women's Survivor Series uh, match. And Paige wanted, you know, Charlotte to be, you know, the team captain for SmackDown for the woman. So who knows if Charlotte's going to uh, take the offer. But who knows. But knowing WWE, you know, they're probably going to put, you know, Charlotte as the other uh, team captain. Now, when, you know, WWE, you know, favorite favorites in Charlotte. So Charlotte didn't come out, uh, but Mandy Rose ended up coming out. And she says to Paige as to why, you know, she chose Sonya over her. And Mandy goes on to say that she's really happy for Sonya. And that, you know, she was the one who eliminated Sonya. In the battle royal at Evolution. And so Mandy starts questioning Paige's choices. You know, she ends up, you know, talking about Asuka, talking about Carmella, you know, saying that, oh, Miss Money in the Bank. You know, you do your seven second, you know, dance, you know, thing. And, you know, she's like, oh, it's short, just like your, uh, just like your title reign. And she says to Naomi, oh, d does everyone still feel the glow? You know, unlike, you know, and then she goes, unlike your husband, Jimmy. And so, you know, Mandy was taking shots at, uh, you know, at Jimmy Uso, which, you know, pissed off Naomi. Naomi ended up taking down uh, Mandy Rose. And so that's how, uh, that's how the segment uh, ended. So we had there's your woman's uh, Survivor Series team for uh, for SmackDown. But uh, question in the air if Charlotte's gonna be you know the team captain. So. But uh, next was the main event, uh, Samoa Joe versus Jeff Hardy. Uh, this was uh, to qualify uh, for the men's uh, Survivor Series. You know for the final uh, final member to be in the men's. 
uh, Survivor Series uh, team for SmackDown. And uh, this was a decent match between uh, Joe and Jeff Hardy. Uh, it was back and forth. Uh, you had the you had the Miz and Daniel Bryan on uh, commentary through the match. And uh, both these guys, you know, they were enjoyable. Uh, Joe and uh, and Hardy. Uh, but in the end, Samoa Joe ended up getting the win. Ended up blocking in the uh, the Coquina Clutch on Jeff Hardy. So Samoa Joe is the final member uh, for the SmackDown Men's Survivor Series uh, team. Then you had after the match, uh, Samoa Joe ended up coming up to uh, Daniel Bryan, who was on commentary, of course. And Daniel Bryan uh, ended up standing up. And uh, Daniel Bryan ended up then, you know, attacking Joe, you know, throwing punches. You know, throwing punches. Uh, Daniel Bryan then uh, got the uh, the left the S yes lock on Joe. Miz came in and pulled uh, Daniel Bryan off. Daniel Bryan just started firing away at Miz. You know, just throwing punches. Shane comes in. Daniel Bryan flips Shane over, and you know, Daniel Bryan left the ring. Uh, got a uh, big pop from the crowd. So, and uh, pretty much that's that's what ended uh, SmackDown uh, tonight. But you know, with the crowd reactions, you know, WWE since it's taped, they could you know automatically mess with the uh, you know mess with the crowd and put in like you know cheers or boos. So, but uh, all in all, it was a decent uh, main event uh, between Joe and uh, Jeff Hardy. And now we move on to uh, the Mixed Match Challenge. Uh, the Mixed Match Challenge uh, was, you know, done uh, earlier today. Uh, it was in the afternoon uh, here. But uh, we had the Mixed Match Challenge, you know, it was okay. It was decent, uh, decent Mixed Match Challenge. And uh, the first match on the Raw side, uh, it was Bobby Lashley and Mickey James versus Finn Balor and Bailey. And, you know, we saw, you know, this last night with Bobby Lashley and Finn Balor, you know, once again, this is like the fourth match uh, between uh, Bobby Lashley and Finn Balor, you know, just going at it in this match, even though it's, you know, it's mixed, it's a mixed uh, tag team match. But, uh, so yeah, sorry about that, but, uh, you know, Bobby Lashley and uh, Finn Balor, you know, went at it again, but this match, you know, it was, meh, it was okay. Uh, you had a point in the match where Leo Rush and Finn Balor, you know, Finn Balor was running after uh, Leo Rush. They were doing laps around the ring, you know, just kept on running around. Uh, Balor was, you know, trying to get to uh, Leo Rush. Uh, but but uh, you had, you know, Leo, Leo Rush tried to charge at uh, Balor in the ring, but, uh, you know, Balor moved out of the way. And uh, Leo ended up going right into the uh, the turnbuckles, and you know led to Finn, you know going to the top. He was about to hit the uh, the coup de gras on Leo Rush, but ended up getting pushed off by uh, Bobby Lashley. Bailey then ended up hitting the uh, the Bailey to belly on Leo Rush, and Mickey then came in, uh, kicked Bailey, and. She ended up uh, winning the match. Uh, she ended up hitting the, uh, the Mick DT to Bailey. So Bobby Lashley and Mickey James uh, win the match. So, but, you know, it's an okay, you know, match. And also in this match, you know, Bobby Lashley was, uh, you know, was flexing, showing the crowd. You know, just flexing. The crowd was booing uh, the hell out of him. And then you had Finn Balor, you know, go up to the top, you know, and, you know, he was flexing and, you know, got a pop from the crowd. So, but, oh, it was an okay match. And it was announced uh, next week on the Mixed Match Challenge. It's going to be uh, Braun Strowman and Amber Moon uh, versus Bobby Lashley and, uh, and Mickey James. So, we're expecting that next week. 
And then we move on to the SmackDown side. Uh, it was Naomi and Jimmy Uso versus R-Truth and Carmella. Uh, this was pretty fun. Uh, you had, uh, you know, them do a, uh, a rap battle. And, uh, you know, they did the rap battle. It led to, you know, the dance in the seven-second dance, uh, you know, thing. And Naomi ended up uh, kicking uh, Carmella. And uh, the match went off of there. And this was a very short match, uh, to be honest. But uh, at the end of the match, uh, Naomi and Jimmy Uso uh, win the match. Uh, Naomi ended up hitting a kick to Carmella uh, to score the win. But, uh, you know, overall it was a fun match. Fun little match. Even though it was short. And uh, it was then revealed that uh, next week it's going to be AJ Styles and Charlotte versus Asuka and The Miz. So that's going to be happening on, uh, you know, the Mixed Match Challenge uh, next week. So... So yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of uh, tonight's uh, SmackDown and also of the Mixed Match Challenge. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all back here tomorrow night for Lucha on the Ground, which is the season finale of season four and the conclusion of Ultima Lucha Quattro, which is part two. And... Uh, you know, looking forward to uh, the match tomorrow. We got uh, we got uh, you know Johnny Mundo versus uh, Matanza in a Sacrifice of the Gods match. Uh, Mario the Mark Martinez versus Pentagon Dark in a Seattle Miedo match for the Lucha on the Ground Championship. So I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a two-hour show. So uh, after you know the show's over, you know I'm going to review it. So. Can't believe how quick, you know, the season of Lucha on the Ground, you know, it just came and, you know, now it's, you know, over after tomorrow. So, yeah, so until uh, my Lucha on the Ground review, I'll see you all back here tomorrow for that review. Bye.